So here in Heart of Africa, we have six African crown cranes. And in that six, we have one, her name is Odot. Um, for the past year and a half or so, Odot has been pulled away from the other cranes because she gets really excited and tends to get a little off balance. And when she does that, she bumps the edge of her wing. And so for about a year and a half, we've been on the mend with this. We've tried adding, you know, gauze pads and ointment and anything that you can imagine that would heal like a scrape or a scar, um, but she continues to open it. And we started to brainstorm and we thought like, what could we do? And one of us said, well, it's almost like she needs a helmet for that wing. And really, we just threw it out there as, hey, can we? You know, that's what we do. We throw out these ideas and somebody's like, poof, we'll make it happen. And poof, made it happen. Um, one of the gals in our animal health team, her husband, Zach, he actually has a 3D printer and he created this helmet or wing elbow pad for ODOT. So we're here today to apply it and see if it works. And so this is a 3D printed plastic shell. So I came in a week ago and took some overall measurements of the area that we were trying to, to protect and took this into my 3D software, um, 3D modeling software and created the shape and then 3D printed a couple iterations and it's lined with a neoprene foam so it's waterproof and um, adds some padding protection. And then we're hoping to Velcro it over her wing so that um, as she's moving around her enclosure, she's protected. So zoo medicine can be absolutely fantastic. It's such an amazing way um, to help animals here at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, but it also comes with its challenges. So a lot of the things that we do, a lot of the problems that we face have either never been documented before or don't have um, solutions that are well documented. And even though we can use a lot of domestic animal information as models for what we do, we do have to do a lot of creative thinking and a lot of thinking outside of the box. And ODOT is absolutely no different. So what we placed on ODOT today is definitely the very first version. Uh, we don't know how she's going to tolerate it. We don't know if it's going to stay in position. Um, so the next steps are to really monitor her. Is she holding the wing normally? Is she comfortable? Is she able to ambulate without falling over? And what modifications do we need to make to this prototype? Um, even straight away after putting it on, Zach and I discussed that we'd like it to be a little tighter. We'd like it to have a little different shape. Um, but it very much is going to be based on how ODOT is doing and what changes we need to make to it moving forward. So one of our highest priorities here at the Columbus Zoo Aquarium is animal well-being. So irrespective of the species of animal and the problem they're facing, uh, we are definitely going to do everything that we absolutely can to make sure an animal is maintaining its appropriate well-being and high standards of care. Um, so we were very fortunate with ODOT that we were able to find this connection and find this link and make something comfortable for her to wear so that she can go back into the savannah and be released with the rest of her um, crane flock and go ahead and lead a happy, healthy life.